if we go back to the previous examples, how can we assign R and S? Now, to be able to assign R and S, we need to draw the molecule in a 3D structure. And therefore, if I have to do this for the first example, I have to use the wedge and the dashed uh, bonds. And therefore, I will write it like this. So I will write, put hydrogen to the back, bring the bromine to the front, and the two bonds in the plane for fluorine and chlorine. And now I will reassign priorities. So we have said one for bromine, two for chlorine, three for fluorine and four for hydrogen. Now looking at the numbers, so I can say one, two, three, four. So I'm going counterclockwise for the numbering. And counterclockwise means S. S in Greek means sinister, which means going to the left or left-handed and by counting we are rotating to the left side which is the counterclockwise. Let's consider another example for example I have carbon OH I have CH3 hydrogen to the back and I have an ethyl group in here. So therefore the priorities will be 1, 2, 3, and 4. Looking at the rotation, here I have 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going clockwise. Clockwise means R. R in Greek means rectus and which means it's right-handed or rotating to the right side. Now what would happen if the hydrogen which has the lowest priority or the lowest priority group is not facing back? So in this case I will take the same example but hydrogen will not be facing back. In this case I will say I have carbon OH and now I will put the hydrogen to the front send the methyl to the back and the ethyl will stay in the plane the priority will be the same so 1 2 3 and 4 in this case before I can determine the rotation whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise I need first to send the lowest priority group to the back and therefore to do this I will have C O H now by sending the H to the back well bring back the CH3 to the front and the CH2 CH3 will stay in the plane now for the priority we'll have one two three four and as we have said before that's going to be clockwise and therefore it should be R However, because we did the rotation on the molecule to send the lowest priority group to the back, we flip the R to be S. So now this is an S molecule and this is an R molecule. So in reality, this is the S because we have flipped or we have rotated the molecule to take the lowest priority group to the back. Let's consider one more example 
where the lowest priority group is not pointing backward. So we'll take carbon. We have a bromine. We have CH2 and we have iodine in here. And uh, here we have hydrogen and we have chlorine in here. Assigning priorities will be one for bromine, two for chlorine, three for the CH2, iodine, and four for hydrogen. Now we can do this quickly by simply replacing the lowest priority by the group that's facing to the back and therefore we get one two three sorry and therefore we get one two three and this is rotating counterclockwise and because we switched the position of the lowest priority group so the counterclockwise which means s the answer will be flipped and the final answer will be r let's consider one more example carbon hydrogen and here we have ch2br and to the front we have methyl and to the back we have CH2OH. Assigning priorities to these different uh, substituents, now this gets the priority number one because it's a CH2 connected to a BR. This gets the priority number two because it's a CH2 connected to an OH and therefore the CH3 gets number three, and as always, hydrogen gets the priority number four. Now, looking at the lowest priority group is not facing back or facing backward. Therefore, I need to switch the substituent who's facing backward with the hydrogen. And therefore, I will get the four in here, the two in here so if the two is in here so i can say one two three now one two three this is clockwise clockwise means r but because i switched places between the lowest priority group and the group facing backward therefore the r becomes an s